In this video, I want to show you two simple ways that you can use to implement a simple search bar in Power BI. We're going to go through this step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So a search bar or the search bar element is something that you must have seen uh, quite frequently. It's used in a lot of websites or other softwares. And it's usually a single line of text bar where users can input to search for certain data. Now, in the context of Power BI, it's especially useful if you have a large set of data or categories. Having the search bar allows you to find the data that you need very quickly. So I want to show you a quick example here. So, so here we have a data model of all of the orders for a fictional company that sells goods internationally. We're not, we're not going to go too deep in detail about the data model itself because it's not so important. I just want to show you that for each of these orders are uh, different products, which uh, products belong to certain categories. And uh, let's say for all of these orders, they have information like when they were ordered, as well as information about the orders themselves. So how many was ordered, the different unit prices for each of these products. And we're just putting them in a table here for now, just to keep things simple. So let's say we want to search for a certain product from this table that we have here. So the first thing that you would do is to add a slicer visual and put the product name as the field to analyze in our, um, in, into our slicer visual here. So as you can see, you can scroll through a lot of these products, select the product that you're interested in, which will give you the list of orders for those products. So how much they were and how many were ordered for each of these orders in this list. If there are lots of products in your lists and maybe it's not so easy to scroll to find what you need, you can enable the search bar from the filter visual here by going to more options and then enabling the search. This will show up this search bar at the top here, which you can use then to search for uh, different products. So let's try tofu. So it will give you the different products that contains tofu in its product name. You can select those. And as you can see, it's a lot easier to find because you have the search bar available for you. One other added benefit about this slicer is that it allows you to add multiple columns in it. So for example, let's add category name as a field in this slicer visual. So as you can see, now you can see the different categories here in our slicer visual. But if you expand on each of these, it will show you the lists of all the products in each of those categories, making it easier for you to find the product that you need. If you type the product that you're looking for in this search bar, it searches not just the product names within the product name field, it also tries to search within the category name. So if it finds that category name, it will show that value for you. And if it just sees the product name, you will see that it shows uh, the category that it belongs to as well as the products themselves. So that's one of the simplest ways that you can enable a search bar in Power BI. Another way, is through custom visuals, which gives you a lot more options to play around with. So I'm gonna reset this. And I'm gonna start by going to get more visuals to open up uh, App Source. So from here, I'm gonna type search. And you'll see that you have a few options here. We're gonna go with the simplest one, which is the text filter by Microsoft. So we're gonna click that and hit add that will simply make this custom visual available for us to use right here. So to make things simple, I'm going to just move this one 
out of the way. I'm going to copy and paste it. And then we're going to convert this into a text filter. So as you can see, this search bar mimics essentially how a usual search bar works. So you have simply just the search bar. You type what you're looking for. Uh, let's say produce. If you hit enter, it will show you the results. So the table is already filtered as such, which is similar to how a typical search bar would work. Unlike the search bar that we have here, which in, when you try to search for a value, it will give you a preview first, which you can choose from. You also have the option here to quickly remove your selection. However, this search bar has a few limitations. The first thing is that obviously it doesn't give you a preview of the search which sometimes you might want to filter it even further or you want to see what's available in your data. So when you hit the enter button, it simply just does a text search without checking if there is data or not. The second thing is that unlike the default slicer visual, it doesn't allow you to add multiple layers of fields in it. So as you can see, we're only searching by category, but if we wanted to add product name as a field, it won't allow you, it will just allow you to use one column at a time. So if you're looking for something simple, use this one uh, to, to keep your report simple. However, if you're looking for something a bit more robust, I suggest looking at this other search bar by OKViz. So let's just go back to the app source here, type search. This is the one that I'm talking about. We're gonna add this into our report here. And I'm going to just make some space for it. I'm going to copy and paste and then convert this one into this new search bar. So with this search bar, you can see the difference straight away. So the first thing is you have the search bar, obviously, and it gives you a preview of what the search bar will search. In this case, we have category name. So we can search for categories with this text box. We also have the option for a drop down. So if you uh, wanted to go through the selection instead of typing it, you can choose it from here. When you select values, it actually stays on the search bar itself, giving you a preview of what's selected. What's more is that it supports multiple columns. So if you have product name and you wanted to use it in combination, you can simply drag it the same way that you do with the default visual and you'll see that it creates a search bar separate from the first one. So allowing you to search for items or look through certain uh, list here, type chai, it will look for those uh, products for you and it will filter your data accordingly. And that's really it for this very quick video. I hope you now know some of the ways that you can implement a search bar functionality in your Power BI report. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.